a couple weeks ago, I don't know if you remembered, I brought my Harley Davidson Dyna into Faro Harley Davidson for some updated maintenance, service, and some new suspension. So we're picking her up right now. All right, I do want to stand out here and talk about her a little bit more, but it's starting to rain. So let's hurry up, gear up, and hop on the road. All righty. So if I didn't tell you what we did to this motorcycle, we added um, Legend suspension front and rear, as well as did a quick little oil change. Oh, you can't see me. Quick little oil change and uh, fixed the notching in the front steering column. So this is going to be my official first ride with the bike now hopefully being repaired. Let's see how she rides. That's probably going to be my next upgrade to this motorcycle is a quieter exhaust. Dude, it's so weird that I got a taller suspension. But it feels so much lower. I think there's just a lot of, uh, I think it's just a lot squishier than what I'm used to. So might need to play with the uh, preload and all of that stuff. Significantly less uh, vibration in the seat for sure. That feels nice. Handlebars still getting the hell vibrated out of them. Uh, that notching in the steering is definitely it's gone so it definitely feels a lot more comfortable coming up to a slow stop and stuff like that <laughs> that feels a lot lower like i even feel it in my seat like i feel like i'm sitting back like leaning back in my seat a little bit more so if you guys do not remember this is my 2009 harley davidson dyna super glide you're getting the heck and heck shaking out of you um this is my very first harley davidson motorcycle i bought this bike used in 2019 and uh, this just happened to be the motorcycle that I started my YouTube channel with. And after riding this bike for a few years, doing long distance touring on the bike, I, you know, I put a lot of pretty rough highway miles on this machine and it did great. It's, you know, it's over 10 years old. But after riding this bike long distance, that was the nail in the coffin for me that was like, yeah, you need a, you need a bagger, you need a touring bike. Oh man, the ergos are so different. I'm not used to this. I gotta take every corner like baby slow. Initial thoughts on the suspension, like it's... Sorry, <laughs> I had to merge onto the highway pretty quickly right there. The suspension feels amazing. I can't feel these bumps at all. And I mean, like, God damn, I hope <laughs> that's what you hope for when you get a really nice suspension like this. Like going over construction, the roads all tore up. This is lovely. Oh, and I can see. That's that's really what I wanted. So the previous suspension that I had on here was, uh, it, I don't even, I, I don't even know if you would consider it a performance suspension, but. I literally couldn't see like my eyes vibrated so bad that I couldn't see the road in front of me like everything was jiggly crisscrossing and now like I can see that horse trailer in front of me just fine it was lovely like a dream I do feel like my knees are up a lot closer to me I, I definitely think the rear suspension is sagging a bit more than what I'm personally used to so I don't know I might just need to get used to that I don't think it needs to change but I've only done like two miles since I picked up the motorcycle. All right, well, this highway is a little, uh, a little loud right now. So let's just, uh, let's get off. Holy crap. I forgot to turn the camera on, but dude, I just rode over some of like the gnarliest concrete. Sorry, you're shaking again. <laughs> Every time we come to a stop, <laughs> oh, I just rode over like the gnarliest concrete and I'm not even gonna say what I was about to say. What I was about to say is something along the lines of if you're a lady and you have uh, lady parts on your upper half of your body, sometimes you go over those bumps and you give yourself a black eye. So that didn't happen, which is awesome. If that isn't a testament to how nice this suspension is, I don't know what is. Oh, look at that beautiful turn. Wow. I just 
just made a left hand turn without almost dying. <laughs> Whee! Oh, yeah, squishy bumps. Oh, usually this is unbearable riding through here. Oh, I love suspension. Oh, I love suspension. get a quieter exhaust you're a little crooked i always say i want to get a quieter exhaust until i like rip the throttle my windshield's still whistling and uh and then you know it just you know i ride and then it sounds like a harley davidson and i'm like no it's fine <laughs> anyway some of the other things that we did in this motorcycle um we did an oil change you know it's been a little while so it's been a couple years actually 2021 since i've done an oil change because i just haven't ridden this bike since i bought my dyna <laughs> my road glide and then um it was the neck bearing. That's where that twitchy, you know, locking notchy, I'm gonna use all the adjectives to explain that, but that's where that issue was coming from. It was a bad bearing. So got that fixed. And then we figured out that there was something else. I, God knows I will not know the name of it, but um, there was something else in the steering housing that was damaged, dented or something. And I guess I asked, I was like, you know, what happens if that fails? I love that we're doing like 30 miles an hour under the speed limit. Oh, are you turning here? Please, please turn here. Yeah, get to work. That sounded rude, but I'm like excited. Like get, get, yeah. Um, anyway, what, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, there was something with like the steering housing where if it becomes too damaged, it could like the whole front end could basically, you know, like swivel 360 degrees. It's like a, a lot of you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know shit about fuck, so I'm just telling you in layman's terms, basically, that there was something wrong. And if it completely failed, it would my bars would be able to like almost turn completely around and it could damage the gas tank and all of that stuff. So we went ahead and repaired that. And that's why they had it for so long. It wasn't just like, oh, hurry up, put the suspension on and fix the bearing. Like this bike has 33,000 miles on it. It's a 2009. So it, she needed a checkup. <laughs> Rides like a dream. Whee! Yeah, dude, I'm like excited to go over bumps now. Usually I tense up and I'm like, oh God, you know, I get prepared. Look at the leaves. Ah! It's happening. But yeah, so because of that little like steering issue, uh, that cost a lot of money. <laughs> I've spent, oh my God, I've spent so much money on my motorcycles over the past few months. It's stupid. Stop whistling. <laughs> it's not gonna work. So the, the main reason I'm getting my Dyna all back into like healthy running order. I'm like, what is this? These are my sunglasses down in my chest. Um, Jordan and I are planning on snowboarding this winter and a lot of you have been asking, Jordan has a work from home job now, so we're able to, he's able to travel a lot more with me. Oh my God, shut up. So we're planning on spending quite a few weeks in Florida and maybe some other locations, but our toy hauler, guys, I'm sorry. I really apologize for the whistle. You're just gonna have to grin and bear it, okay? but the toy hauler cannot haul larger vehicles at the same time. So I couldn't bring like Jordan Sportster and my road glide. It would have to be the Sportster and the Dyna or something. Like the bikes are just too wide. So Jordan and I are probably going to take the Dyna with us and he's debating on whether or not he wants to bring his Sportster or his DR. So leave a comment down below, which bike do you think Jordan should take to Florida with us? Like. His Sportster has a big sissy bar. My Dyna has a big sissy bar. So we're thinking about calling it Big Sissy Bar Winter. <laughs> but we'll see, I don't know. Um, this is this is not, I'm gonna have to ride home single-handed like this because that is not okay with me right now. My ADHD is on fire. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, and I've, I've obviously decided that I'm, I'm keeping this motorcycle. This is mine. Um, I would rather keep my Dyna over my Road Glide, if that tells you guys anything. Like my, my Dyna really is my baby. It was my first Harley Davidson and I don't, I don't ever want to see her go. Um, the Road Glide, I would like, once I get to my 100,000 mile threshold that I want to get to, oh, I would trade that baby in, in a heartbeat. I would love to get like a newer, modern touring motorcycle, I guess you could say. The new CVOs are beautiful, but I ain't got like, y'all think YouTube pays me well. It, it, oh, 
it don't pay me CBO well. But, uh, yeah, Dinah ain't going nowhere. She's staying with me, so I, I want to make sure she's ticked and tied and uh, safe. I want her to be safe. I still want to ride this bike. So the only thing I really want to get or add to it is I need to get a, I guess it's just called a throttle lock. I want to be able to use cruise control, essentially. Please don't whistle. My arm hurts from holding that up. So I need to get a throttle lock. If you guys have any recommendations on what either to get or what not to get, I would really appreciate it because I, everyone tells me that there's a throttle lock underneath this throttle here. You guys, that's not a, that's not a lock. That's a tensioner. Like it's an adjuster. So, um, when you can't immediately disengage throttling, that's very concerning to me and I don't like it. So I want to get something that is works well and is reliable and quick to disengage if that makes any sense so i have some research to do but you guys spent a lot of time on the internet too and maybe you can just help me get there quicker <laughs> okay moment of truth suspension test we're going over these railroad tracks i'm going to slow down to about 50. all right oh okay i like Oh my God, it's a night and day difference. What have I been sleeping on all this time? So that's another thing I wanted to address in this video. I get a lot of people asking me about, I run Saddleman seats on all of my motorcycles, except for my BMW and my Himalayan. So I, I guess two, two, two of my Harley Davidsons. Jordan also has a Saddleman on his Sportster. And you ask, like, is it worth it? Um, personally, I love Saddleman. I've been riding on Saddleman seats for about, I don't know, six years now. And I love the seats. I love how narrow they are. I have very narrow hips. So it gives me a lot more inseam uh, usage, I guess, to flat these, flat foot these motorcycles. But they are stiff seats. I do want to let you guys know that they are, um, they're memory foam and gel. So what they do is they absorb the bumps, the road, like they absorb that vibration. Um, and so it takes the edge out of riding, but they do feel like stiff, solid seats. Now they are memory foam, which makes them feel stiffer than you probably think they should. But what that means is they're not gonna deteriorate. Like if you're gonna be spending $600 on a motorcycle seat, you don't want the foam breaking down over just a couple years of riding, you know what I'm saying? So I personally love my Saddleman seats and uh, I truly want you guys to know that if you buy these really expensive seats thinking that it's going to solve all of your comfort issues take a good hard look at your suspension every single um, uncomfortable motorcycle that i have ridden on has rarely ever been the seat that actually hurts me it's usually the suspension and i can 100 percent attest that the legend suspension that i just had put on this dyna has turned it into an entirely new ride like 100 percent a new motorcycle I am going to have to get used to the new rider triangle that I'm in. My, my legs are a lot more cramped up than what they used to be. I used to be a lot taller uh, because the rear suspension was lift up, lifted up a little bit more. But it's due to the actual comfort. Like, I don't even know how to explain it to you without just being like, it's more comfortable. It's softer. So 10 out of 10. Definitely really, really digging how comfortable this feels. Man, the steering just feels so much better. It feels like I actually have control over it again. <laughs> that whistle. Oh, oh no. Oh, 45. Ooh, sorry. I'm speeding. I'm speeding real good. I just wanted to remind you, I don't really ask this anymore because I feel like a lot of times people don't, they just don't care. But if you've been enjoying the channel and have been enjoying the motorcycles that I have and the travels that we've been taking, if you haven't subscribed, I would really love it if you could. It's totally free. Um, you only gotta do it once unless YouTube randomly unsubscribes you again, which they do that quite often actually. But I'd love to see the channel hit 200,000 subscribers. I've been making videos for almost four years now. And after the pandemic, man, the growth has just completely gone away. So. If you guys are new or if you've just chosen not to subscribe yet, I really would love to see, uh, love to see us grow still. Love to know that we're still relevant. <laughs> Motorcycling is a very, very small category here on YouTube. I understand that it's 
you know, you can only subscribe to so many people. But on that topic, I do want to let you guys know that I plan on being in Birmingham, Alabama uh, the next weekend. So October 5th, no, 6th, 7th, and 8th, I will be in Birmingham, Alabama for the BMW Motor Rad Days. And uh, if you are coming to the event, please comment below. Let me know. I would so love to see you guys down there. I've never been to the Barber Vintage Motorcycle Museum. Um, and I just love everything that BMW does, man. Every event that I've gone to has been like top tier fun. I went to their event in Sturgis and they were serving craft beer and Bavarian pretzels. Come on, I was all over that. <laughs> and then I came home and had to do a diet. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this really quick rip video picking up my Dinah. She's going to be back on the channel quite often here coming up soon. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this one. And until my next one, you be good, ride motorcycles, and I'll see you later.